If you want to know how to create uh, custom formats for your time and your date picker, then this is the video for you. So I'm making the assumption then that you've watched video number one. Uh, and for the second one, what we're going to do in addition to our time picker and our um, date picker, we're going to go into the sensors component here. We're going to drag and drop in a clock. And this is what's going to allow us to do all the formatting. If you find these videos useful, please consider uh, clicking on the subscribe button to really support the channel. If you like the videos, then uh, click the notification bell as well. So in our blocks, what does this look like? In the previous video, we worked with the year, the month, the day from the date picker, like this. But we also saw an instant. So that instant told us, um, it gave us back like this java.util.gregorian calendar. And I said that um, while it wasn't particularly user friendly, it was useful for working with other components. And specifically then, what we want to do is pass that instant to the clock, because the clock can do all of this formatting for us. So there's an option there to format the date, and there's another option below to format the date time. And one thing that it wants then is an instant. So we can use the instant from the date picker, for example, like this. And it's going to give us three letters for the date, then it'll give us uh, three letters for the month, excuse me, then it'll give us the day, and then it'll give us the year like that. So DEC for December 28th, 2017, back when this was recorded. If you like this video, um, please, please show your support for the channel by clicking on the thumbs up. Really, really appreciate it. And so back to the blocks then, what we can do is we can change the format around a little bit. So what if we wanted uh, numbers then instead of letters? So instead of DEC, what if we wanted just the number, uh, numbers 12, let's say, for, um, for the date? So in here then, we've got two for the month, two for the day, and then four letters, four, four numbers for the year, like that. And then the time is set to 12 AM. So you can see it doesn't actually give you a correct time or the, the exact time right now, um, but it did give us the correct date. So let's have a look at what the date picker looks like. Well, what we can do here then is we can still use this format um, parameter, format procedure from the clock. And what we can do is instead of using the date picker instant, let's try and use the time picker instant. So we can just duplicate, plug it in there, and it should now format it like that. So yeah, we used hours and minutes in the last um, video. This time we're gonna use the instant. So our time, now our time is, is okay. We had 17.49, now it shows 5.49 p.m. That's not too bad. And we have the first of the first 1970. So what if we want, first of all, let's um, consider what happens if we want 24 hour format. So rather than the two lowercase h's, what we'll do is we'll put two uppercase h's. So now the time is 17.51. Clicking on the OK shows us 1751 there in the instant. So that's perfect. That's what we want. And then one thing we can do then, I suppose if you don't want the, the beginning of time, which is the 1st of January 1970, um, we could just get rid of those altogether like that. Um, zoomed out a little bit here, but you can see it just shows the time. Um, and the other thing that we can do then is rather than using the instant as it comes from the time picker, let's uh, just use this instant called clock1.now and you'll find that in the clock1 component. So now what happens is when we click OK it doesn't actually use the time from the time picker it's using the time from the system from the, from the clock1 component. So thank you for making it to the end of the video I really hope this has uh, taught you a little bit about how to format times using the clock sensor. If you've got any questions or comments please leave them in the description.